Hello everybody and welcome to Black Ops Cold War Zombies. This is a game that I hold near and dear to my heart. I love Cold War Zombies so much. This is one of my favorite Zombies games of all time. And a lot of people seem to be caught in this argument of, oh, what's better? Black Ops 3 or Black Ops Cold War? And I think that there are phenomenal aspects to both. Be, but at the end of the day, I have to say, why can't two legends coexist? So, yeah, we are going to be playing Cold War Zombies. We're going to start off with the machine and work our way through. So, and once again, we're doing the Easter egg. Um, I'll be doing the Easter egg for all of these maps, except for Outbreak, because I want to kind of experience the natural game flow of Outbreak. So, but we don't have to worry about that till later on. I also move where my face cam is because the round number is going to be above me. And then to the left corner of the screen, there's going to be the mini map. So, so yeah, let's do this. It's been a hot minute since I've played Cold War. It's been a minute since I've done any of these eggs. It's going to be interesting to, for sure. Actually, that's not, that's kind of a lie. I did, I made to round 100 on this map the other day. Hold on. Um, yeah, that VOD is going to be coming up soon on the, on the VOD channel. But yeah, I made to round 100 on this map. Yeah, okay, this, I don't know why, but my, Take it to the grave. my, hmm. I'll run with this for now, but my sensitivity feels off. How'd I miss? I'm missing. Okay. So, yeah. Here we are. Ground zero. Dimensional gates. I love how this four. game looks. Should have known it would come back to some evil. It Nazi looks so good. It also probably helps that uh, we're playing on the PS5 right now. Facility entrance should be just ahead. This is the first zombies game on the PS5. I think this is the first Call of Duty on current gen consoles so yeah and like i think that this is probably not probably it's the best looking call of duty from a pure graphic standpoint you can argue about art style all you want but this is by far the best when it comes to graphics i don't think anyone can um successfully debate that so yeah we're gonna turn the rampage inducer just so we can get through rounds a little bit quicker Gonna unlock the door. Then we're gonna come up here. And then. And yeah, we'll just knife and kill for a little bit. Okay, um, I have in case you were curious about like my my upgrades, like I have everything maxed out for levels, for weapons and perks and everything. Um, so, yeah, this is about as good as as you can get. Okay, we'll stay here till round, let's say, like seven or something, eight, seven or eight, eight. Um, I will say we do need to be careful. Uh, so I, I also have done this game super easter egg. Oh. So I can start off with... Hold on. This is screwing me up really bad. Um... That's better, I guess. Um, stun is fine. Okay, I need to go and turn off the Rampage Inducer, probably after this round. Insta-kill. Looks good. Double. Good. 
Okay, we'll let them spawn in. And then we can turn this off. Okay, perfect. I can kind of I I can kind of chill now. Like punch punch. So it's satisfying to punch him. But yeah. Relish the opportunity to spill your Cold blood. War as a whole, I think, gets a bad rap nowadays. This is a game that was praised a lot when it first came out. But now, I don't know. It, it has its fans, but it also has a lot of haters in a way. And, and, and if you don't like Cold War, that's obviously fine. Like, I couldn't care less on your, um, taste of... Well, actually, th actually, that that's not true. I, I, I do care about, about your guys' zombie taste. Um, if you... Let me know in the comments if you like or dislike Cold War and why. I'm genuinely curious. Um, are you a Cold War lover, a Cold War hater? Are you kind of in the middle? Have you never played it before? I'm genuinely curious. And also give like some reasons why. Go. Here we go. And the power is on. Let's get pack a punch going. Oh boy, I'm so excited to um go through all these maps again. As you can see, I play a lot. I have um nope, can I press the right button? I have um Dark Ether. Not only on not only do I have Dark Ether unlocked, but I have it on every weapon in the game, including all the DLC weapons. I have every weapon at um full level up, full mastery, all the camos, at least for zombies. A part of me wants to try to go for um the Ultra in multiplayer, but I'm not that big of a fan of Cold War multiplayer, if I'm being honest. It, I would say Cold War multiplayer is one of my least favorite multiplayers, if I'm being honest. And I couldn't tell you why, honestly. I just can't get into it. Oh, let's go. It's all the way over there. Okay, we can grab that while we're here. Just move on down. Um, I would like to buy some perks. So we can buy you. Probably buy stamina up as well. Because we're about to get jugged for free. Okay, good. Here we go. So, the Coffin Dance Easter Egg. You shoot five wisps. And then... Then you get teleported. Oh. Here we go. And boom. Look at them go. They're doing that, that one dance from the one meme. Open oh, it's also a dark round. I I just love this game because I feel like it's so in-depth. Like I I don't understand people who say that this game is boring or too easy. That's a criticism I disagree with. That Cold War is too easy. Um, the challenge is what you make it. Like, obviously, if you run all the meta guns and do all of the safe, um, strategies, yeah, that's easy, but you can also say that for any other game. Um, if you actually try to, like, use different weapons and, um, train and use the Rampage Inducer, the doy, 
like that you're it's then you're gonna have a challenge and people are like oh you shouldn't have to force yourself to use different weapons for a game to be easier and that's true but when the game gives you a hard mode and you just ignore it then how are that's that doesn't i don't know um well i will say Um, I don't know where I was going with that. Cold War can be actually super difficult if you just try to get to round 100 in this game. Um, oh, some strategies can be pretty easy, but if you don't know what you're doing or just trying to wing it, it can actually be kind of difficult. Um, first, I'm, I gotta run up here. Okay. So I probably won't rock out with the 1911s, just because like when you pack punch it, they don't turn into anything. Um, they don't turn to like your explosive weapon. But yeah, they're pretty fine. Um, what was I just gonna say? Like a lot of people are like, oh, you can get to round 935 on all the maps. That means it's easy. I'm like, okay, you do it. But no, they can't do it. Perfect. Goodbye, buddy. Oh, so, the Megaton is one of the best weapon weapons. Hello, one of the best boss zombies in zombies history. He's strong. He's terrifying. He really stands a threat. And once you kill him, he's still not done because he splits into two that can just lob shots your way. go pick that up i want this i don't want that nuke um let's run this way so yeah i i guess i'm having trouble getting all my thoughts into words that's really something i struggle with but for cold war like i don't know like this map this game gets a lot of hate that i think is undeserved but at the same time, there's a lot of people who like this game. I just... I'm trying to think about what the best way to phrase this is. If you're saying... I, I don't know. I don't know. Like, a lot of people get, like, really, like, agitated of the debate between BO3 and Cold War. And I'll say my side on it. I keep on hearing BO3 fans be like, Oh, both sides are super toxic. And then me as a Cold War fan, I'm like, I don't hear and I don't see any toxicity from people who like Cold War. But I'm sure there are toxic people that are like that on both sides, but... I don't know, just the BO3 Zombies community as a whole is something I've tried to move away from. Like, I love zombies, not just Black Ops 3 zombies, if that makes sense. Like, and if you're someone who's like, oh, I love BO3 Zombies, but I'm not a big fan of Cold War, like, I'm, I'm not directing any of this at you. I'm talking about the people who are like, like, I tweeted once, like, my ranking of the COD Zombies, of of the, the Treyarch Zombie games. I put BO3 at 2 and Cold War at 1. I got death threats. I'm dead serious. I got actual death threats. So, and they were all from BO3 fans, obviously, because, like... What Cold War fan is gonna give me death threats over having their game in number one? But still, like, don't... It's not that big of a deal. Oh no, I put your favorite game only at number two? Oh no. That's such a tragedy. I've always said, just... Treat other people with respect. 
I'm really nuts. That goes for like anything and anywhere. But but anyway, we are. This is the die shock wave. You can shoot. You can suck for more ammo as well as so like sucking. I get more ammo. A lot of people say that this is like a better version of the jet gun. I understand why they say that, but it really functions nothing like a jet gun. So, I don't know. Um, let's see. Um, I don't know why I'm pressing that. Oh, I, I guess I'm used to um, Modern Warfare, where I press the button and it shows the entire mini-map. I don't know why. I know this map by heart. Oh, I, I, I guess what I'm actually looking for is the, um, am I stupid? Did I run? Oh, I know where it's at. I'm stupid. Yeah. I'm looking for the Dark Aether Rift. Again, it's been a minute since I've played, done this egg, so I'm sorry. Okay, well, there we go. We, we need to build the ether scope. Forgot about that. I, I was ready to start working on the other dies, but no, we, we, we gotta do the ether scope first. It's not there. Where's the part? Hold on, I have to dig deep into the crevices of my brain. Is it over here? Yep. No spawn dogs, which I would like to keep. Then we can go over here. Not there. We'll go down. Oh boy. Run over here. Move up. And then the final part is over here. It kind of sucks I don't remember this as well as I used to because I used to speedrun Cold War a lot. Um I never got any like um impressive world records. Or like rec impressive times in general, but so it's something I really loved doing back in the day. But and I would like to go back and try to improve some PBs. Nope, gonna have to go around. The end station creation. Okay, let's bring the dogs over here. Can I put that dog? Here we go. Okay then, perfect. Let's build the ether scope. And we do have enough to get more armor. The armor system is also something that people criticize this mode for, but I personally really like it. But but that's just me. I I do understand the the opposing opinion and argument that the armor system isn't good. It, it really just comes down to personal preference. Uh oh. Excuse me for. Uh oh. What? What's his name? Orlov? No, that's not Orlov. Orlov's the guy that we help at the end. What's his name? Big Red. Milek. That's it. So, yeah, uh, Milek is a guy who spawns in, um, he's 
He spawns him when you're in the dark ether. He's super strong. You can kill him. He doesn't split, but most of the time you're gonna wanna, like, stay away from him. This is my purpose, to kill your kind. Oh, I would love to pick up that carpenter. This is so satisfying. I just love killing zombies in Cold War. Um, people don't like the like war zonification of zombies, and again, I can understand that. But like, I love seeing like the numbers pop up on the screen. A lot of people think it's a distraction, but I think it's really satisfying. Oh, kill them! Oh, I never give him diary. Oops. Oops. Um, the mini-map I get, like, people are like, oh, I, especially on Twitter, like, recently, people have gone crazy about the mini-map. Like, oh, it's ruining zombies, and I'm like, brother, it's not that big of a deal, you can, like, like, I know you, you can turn off a lot of stuff, like, like, you can turn off, like, the zombie health bars, and, like, the numbers, and the damage counters, but you can't turn off the mini-map, which, yeah, I get, but it doesn't take up that much room, if I'm being honest. Like, the HUD, I think it's fine. Like, is it as, like, creative as something like BO3? No, but I wouldn't say it's, like, intrusive. Okay. Okay, let's, well, first of all, let's pack a punch. There we go. There's a menu for pack a punch. Um, it shows you the prices of packs one, two, and three, and it also shows you on the different um, um, ultra ammo types that you can equip. And instead of it being random, like in BO three and four, you can pick what you want. And they're actually more involved in the map. like. Depending on what, um, they're called ammo mods now, but depending on what ammo mod you have, um, you can, um, deal more damage to certain enemies. Like, the Megaton, I want to say, is weak to electric, um, and, like, um, Plague Hounds. I think Plague Hounds are weak to fire, so, like, every enemy that's not, like, a standard zombie... It's, they have a different, um, weakness, and I think that's really cool. And the fact that it's not all up to RNG kind of makes things, um, a lot better to, like, kind of plan your loadout. But then there's people who are like, oh, I don't want menus and zombies. And I'm like, yeah, I, I get it, but... I don't think it makes a difference. Like, it's an extra button press. Oh, but it takes me out of the immersion. I mean, again, I get that, but it's not that big of a deal, I guess. I, I guess it comes down to personal taste, because there's, like, there's stuff that people consider to be game-ruining that I'm, like, just a tiny nitpick. And also, like, some maps and experiences where I'm, like, this thing ruins the whole thing, but other people are like, oh, it's just a nitpick. It, it comes down to taste. So, let's start talking about these dyes. We have the die cryometer, which freezes zombies, but also, when you suck them, they'll instantly break. Like, even if you... And it'll also break the zombies around them. Like, like this is a good weapon, it just gets a bad rap because most people don't know how to properly use it. And honestly, yeah, I get it. Still, I wouldn't... This would never be, like, my first pick. And then, also, this map fixes a big problem that I have with maps like, um... Um, Mob of the Dead, Blood of the Dead, Voyage of Despair. If you want to go back to the original, you, you interact with it. And boom, I got my original shockwave back. Oh, 
Let's see. I don't know if I talked about the die shockwave, like the baseline shockwave. Like, it's pretty good. You, you suck them up and you do like a giant ball of electricity. I think it's pretty cool. The next one we're going to talk about is the Dynova 5. So, it's not Nova 6, it's Nova 5. Nova 5 is like, kind of like Nova 6, but humans are safe to breathe it in. Yeah, shoot it on the ground, and it does residual damage to the zombies around you. And like, it's fine for like, the early game, and maybe if you have like, an insta-kill. But it really does fall off in the higher rounds, even when you get this pack of punched Also, if, if you haven't really played this game since it first came out, yeah, you can pack punch the dice now. Um, you were a... You, you couldn't pack the dies until the Season 6 update, I want to say, for Cold War. So, what? boom. Now it's the DEAD Virtuance. Okay, let's do this. Alrighty, two more dies. Okay, I, I, I want to go back to the whole, like, um, Cold War is too easy thing. Saying general gameplay is too easy, I would say is kind of wrong. Oh. Because, really, difficulty in this game is as easy or as hard as you want to make it. So, I think that saying, oh, Cold War in general is too easy is not really fair. But what I will say are the people who say Cold War's Easter eggs are too easy and too simple. I get it. And did that work? I don't I don't think that worked. L let me grab my um yeah, yeah, we might need to redo this. This is bad. Um, oh, my luck. Okay, we, we, we can at least get most of the stuff, really. And the thing about these Easter eggs is that most of the time, they're pretty simple, and they don't take that much effort to do. Like, like D-Machine's Easter egg is... Oh my gosh, an actual Megaton. You... Obtain the dies, you upgrade the dies, and you do a couple, like, really simple steps that the game literally points out to you. Oh, nice, that did work. Okay. And it kind of doesn't really... It's not really good in terms of, like, trying to figure... figuring stuff out, but, like, I'm not going to pretend, like, 99.999% of players look up the guides when doing it. When doing eggs. Uh-oh. 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 Oh, dang it. I don't think that worked. Dang it. Okay. Oh, well. We'll come back here. Here is the die thermo phasic. Shoots fireballs. It shoots fireballs. Yeah, this weapon sucks. I'll say right now, it only kills a few zombies, and it takes a long time for it to fire. Oh, hello. But yeah, I, I, I would say the Easter eggs on this game, like, I enjoy them, I really do, but they're not as good as they were in older games. So if you're like, oh, this game sucks because I don't like the Easter eggs. Completely and utterly valid. I get that. Um, so yeah. And keep in mind, like, a huge portion of the zombies community are, they're filled with, um, Easter egg speedrunners and stuff. And that's a big portion of the community. So yeah. Including myself, like, I love doing these eggs. Like, I've been doing eggs on every map since, like, BO3. When it comes to the series, at least. Okay. 
Um, we just need one more crystal. I can usually get them all in time, but I'm just kind of taking it slow. There we go. One more, baby. Good. Go down. I, I feel like I, I've been saying this for like almost every map, but if you haven't played Cold War in a while, or like you bought it, you played it, and you tell you didn't like it, I would give it another chance. Because I truly think that this game is something special. Um, here's the dielectro bolt. It shoots beams of electricity that get stronger the longer you hold down the fire button. And when you have a pack a punch and you have it on the ground, you show on the ground, you run quicker. So I would say this is the best one. Like, 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 look, look, look at the damage numbers. Well, let's start from here. 150, 450, and it's dead. And by 150, I mean 1500 and then 4500. I kind of need to get out of... Oh, let's chill. We need to get out of the dark ether, like, now. go. Oh. Ah! There we go. I got crit on that. Funny. Let's pack a punch. Or pack punch. Go into the dark ether again. Um, I know I've been talking a lot about, like, think, like, about, um, negative aspects of Cold War. But... I want to talk about one more. Um, the story. People don't like the story of this game. And I disagree. Like, obviously, how good a story is, is, um... I feel like that's something that can be, um, subjective. Because a lot of people want different things from a story. Um, my opinion is... I think the story of Cold War and the Dark Aether storyline, I think that story is really, really good. But Treyarch has gone in an awful awful way to of uh, telling the story because they do it all through intel there's like radios and stuff that you can pick up across all the maps that contain vital storyline information and you don't get to interact with it in the map because it all goes into a menu outside the game like in the in the main menu area um having all like like radios and ciphers in a menu like having it all in one spot i think that is a fantastic idea just like imagine like bo3 and like every time you see like you interact with a radio you can listen to it again in the menu like that would be great but how they did it here is that you pick it up and then you have to go and read it in the menu which i don't like because you're not experiencing the story in game. Like, yeah, you can get like the overall like long strokes of like of like the story beats, but overall, it's like I don't know. It's really I don't know. I'm disappointed of how they went about telling the story because it's actually a really good story if you give it a chance. Okay, we put this in here. Okay, now we just wait for a Megaton. There we go. Well, we got plenty of subjects. Ideas? Ideas? <laughs> Round up the usual suspects, strike team. There we go. 
But yeah, I think I've hit like all of like the the beats when it comes to um Cold War. Or 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 or, or not even Cold War, but like D Machine. I think this is just like a fantastic map to run around and play with. Like, it's pure fun, which I just like because uh, like like I'll be honest, killing zombies in Black Ops 4 is not that fun. Like I don't think I can just start up a game of BO4 and just play like a casual game because it's not that interesting. Um. Cold War, I can, like, boot up any day, any time, play a map. This game has so much content in it. Even though there's only four round-based maps in, in Zombies, or in Cold War Zombies, it is so... Like, the game itself is so in-depth. Something that really annoys me about the Zombies community. They see um content as how many round-based maps there are. And it's like, oh, Cold War has only four round-based maps. That means that it doesn't have a lot of content. You, we have four round-based maps. We have Outbreak, which is a super in-depth um, open-world zombies mode. We have Onslaught, which was PlayStation exclusive. Yuck. But now it's available for everyone to play, where you can do play over 20 multiplayer maps. With zombies in it, um, there's Dead Ops Arcade 3, which is the best Dead Ops Arcade to date. Um, you, you have a fun and rewarding camo grind. You have, um, you have tons of different challenges, like seasonal challenges, um, for calling cards and other rewards. Like, it's... There's so much to do in this game, and I absolutely love it. Like, just on PS5 alone, you can see... Hold on, hold on. I'm going to home. You can see on the bottom right, I have 1,076 hours into Cold War. And that's admittedly the game as a whole. I did. I do have some hours in multiplayer, just a little bit in campaign. Um, I think last time I checked, I had 23 days in zombies in this game. So, yeah. I am... I, I really enjoy this game. And, like, I, I don't know what else I can say without being like, Oh, I love this, I love this, I love this. But, yeah. Please, please let me... Again, please let me know your thoughts on Cold War in the comments, because I genuinely want to hear it. Wait for it. No. Suck him up. Okay, let's see if I can do this. I I, I suck at this. Oh. oh, I made it out. Let's go. Or love. What would happen if I see him right over here? Run, brother! Run! Oh! Oh, that's so good. Okay, we're, we're, we're almost done with this egg. Dude, I, I don't want to stop playing this. 
all like my BO4 maps or or all, all the BO4 videos are like an hour and a half or longer. Uh oh. Well, that's unfortunate. Okay, blow it up. Okay, um, let's. We're sure shit not gonna find him in the darkness. Options. Sounds like you need some bait. Um, let's grab perks. I was like, I didn't even touch on the on the craftable system. You can craft different items. And honestly, I think this is really cool. Like, like, like you have salvage, which is another um currency. And a lot of people are like, "Oh, I don't like having the secondary currency in zombies." And I'm like, "So it's okay when Spaceland did it with their tickets, but it's not okay for Cold War to have salvage." And I'm like, "Come on." Team, we got an extraction window. Okay. Um. I'll wait. Um, let's see what we can get. I want you. I want you. I want you. I want you. And then that'll leave just enough to pack it again. Yep, let's let's finish this. Yo, look at them go. Look at them go. Chilling. Oh, 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 he's chilling in that barrier. Gotcha. Okay. Nice. Okay, it's boss fight time. I have faced a far bigger horde. Oh, I didn't love that. Thank you. My issue is my I don't have my ring of fire ready. by the way. So this is the boss fight equivalent. We just need to protect Orloff against all the zombies, plague hounds, and um, megatons. Okay. Oh boy, here we go. And 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 if they um, 
hit Orloff at all, they'll kind of like stop him from working. So it's best to not let them get hit. That's one. Oh boy. Okay. Flamethrower. Nope. Nope. I'm, I'm going for, for a perfect boss fight. Uh-oh. No! Dang it! Okay, no perfect boss fight. Crap. I don't have ring ready. I want to ring of fire. Come on, almost done, almost done, almost done. Do me your fate with no My goodness. My goodness. So much! One more left. I'll try my best. Stun grenade out. Stun throw. Stun grenade out. Cut. Go. See how no effort is wasted. We're almost done. We're good. There we go. That's all I need to hear. Raptor one is inbound, strike team. Get Brigham out. Oh boy. Uh oh. No. Honestly, that's fine. Okay. A bit embarrassing, but that's still fine. Oh boy. We're fine. We're fine. We're moving. We're, we're moving. Helicopter's here. Bring the max ammo. I'll take it. Or not. I'm Max Ammo. Requiem, Alpha Site just went nuclear. Duty has been destroyed. Good work, Strike Team. We've closed the breach. But I got a feeling Omega Group is just getting started. Okay, so. I will say not having an ending cutscene other than the map blowing up is kind of eh. But overall. I'd say that's a pretty solid Easter egg, especially for like an on-disc experience. Having the Easter egg be a lot easier for like a first map is fine because there's gonna be a lot of new people playing zombies. And when Cold War came out, there were tons of like new people playing. So I think having an easier Easter egg for the first map is fine, but for the future maps, that's a conversation for another day. But yeah, that was D Machine. I really like this map. Um, I didn't really get to go in depth of why, but I think that D Machine is the best on disc zombies experience. I don't think it's a better map than maps like Shadows of Evil, Nine, um, stuff like that. Um, but I think this is the best map for new players to experience zombies and to understand all of the basics like the perks the weapons the enemies the pack a punch how a main quest works if you know someone who 
wants to get into zombies, I would say D Machine is the best map to start with because it's it has everything for both casual and hardcore players alike. But hey, that's just my opinion. I know people have their um grievances against D Machine and Cold War as a whole. I, I hope I didn't seem a bit too um for lack of a better term, bitchy about how other people perceive this game. It really doesn't bother me when other people have differing opinions than me. It doesn't. What bothers me is when people attack other people for having different opinions. And I, I've talked about this in many different videos, but be civil. People like zombies for different reasons. And I think we need more tolerance in this community. Like, it's not that big of a deal if someone likes this game over that game or this map over that map. At the end of the day, we all love zombies, and I think that is what matters most. So, I'm going to end it here. Thank you so much for watching. It means a lot to me. Subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you next time. Okay, see ya.